Well, let's speak to journalist Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow. And Yulia, uh, the Russian President Vladimir Putin has uh, been talking about the situation. What, what exactly has he been saying? Yeah, now we've heard uh, from President Putin uh, regarding the disaster, and uh, he discussed it with Turkish President Erdogan during a telephone conversation. Uh, the Russian president called the destruction of the Kahovska power plant a barbaric action by Kiev, adding that it was instigated by the West. Uh, Putin stated that the breakdown of the power station was a clear example of Kiev's terrorist methods. So now we've heard from all the Russian top officials uh, regarding the destruction of the Kahovska Dam, and all of them placed the blame solely on Kiev. By the way, prior uh, to the telephone call with Vladimir Putin, Mr. Erdogan had a conversation with President Zelensky of Ukraine, offering to create a commission with the participation of the UN, Russia, Ukraine, and Turkey to investigate what actually happened at the Kahovska Dam. Uh, basically, we understand that Ukraine accuses Russian troops of blowing up the dam. Russia claims that the power station came under Ukrainian shelling. But uh, there is also a version that it could be an unintentional disaster and the dam collapsed due to improper maintenance and the damage um, due to the damage caused earlier. So, obviously, experts now say that the destruction of the dam uh, may negatively affect both sides of the conflict. Mm. And just a little bit more on the damage. What's the risk of further flooding? Uh, on the Russian-controlled side of the river. Do we know any more about that? Well, uh, as far as we know, the evacuations continue. People are being rescued. Animals are being rescued because, obviously, uh, as we understand, the water level is a bit decreasing. But uh, uh, as we understand, other territories down the Dnipro River, uh, actually, they, all, the, all, the, all the water is rushing there. Also, according to the Russian Ministry of Defense, uh, we know that on June the 5th, a Ukrainian group blew up a fragment of the Tolyati Odessa ammonia pipeline. It took place in the Kharkov region, where some uh, fighting had been reported uh, earlier. Some video elements are now circulating on the internet, showing a poisonous cloud allegedly moving into the Kupiansk region. Uh, some civilian victims with the ammonia poisoning have been reported, and according to the Defense Ministry, they received uh, all the necessary medical help. Uh, the Tolyati Odessa ammonia pipeline was a vitally important part of the grain deal between Russia, Ukraine and the UN. And the resumption of the pipeline was one of Russia's conditions for extending the deal. Um, the Russian ministry, um, uh, the Russian foreign ministry rather, said that uh, restoration of the Tolyati Odessa ammonia pipeline will take some time, from one to three months, if there is access to the facility. Uh, also, the foreign ministry blamed Kiev, saying that it was the only party not interested in uh, resuming the ammonia pipeline, and uh, uh, that by blowing up the pipeline, uh, Kiev dealt a heavy blow to the efforts of the UN in the fight against hunger in poor countries. Okay, thank you so much. That is uh, Yulia Shapovalova for us in Moscow.